Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a love reading for Cancer. This is a general timeless reading. So whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Okay. Also, this is for any Cancer placement. So sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lily, you name it. Okay. Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. We clear all negativity. Okay, Cancer, so the channel message that I got for you this time is that you are no longer being the supportive character in your life, okay? And what I take from that is that you are demanding a lot of things, okay, in your life, especially in your romantic life. Um, you feel like what you put into other people, especially your romantic partners, you don't always get back, okay? So I feel a sense that you have a very high standard right now, okay? This could be for your current relationship if you are connecting with someone or if you're completely single, whoever you're calling in, you are being very um, decisive about it, okay? Um, you want to make sure that they're going to support you and invest in you um, the same way that you do for them. Okay. You want a very equal give and take. Um, it's kind of like the six of pentacles energy that I'm hearing. Okay. I also heard the word accountant or accounting that might be important to you, um, or someone that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, this is my second reading. And for some reason, there's been a big talk of finances and increases. Okay. Which is interesting. Um, we did just move past the Taurus, uh, new moon. If you're watching this in the month of May, um, it is also Taurus season. Okay. Uh, prosperity doesn't always have to be finances. It could just be increases, increases in abundance, increases in wealth, prosperity, mentally, physically, um, or spiritually I'm hearing. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and look at your cards. Um, in your recent past, uh, you had the 10 of cups in your current energy. You have the tower card and in your emotional blockage, you have the empress. Okay, so we have two major arcana out of three cards. So a lot of transformation is happening right now for you, Cancer, in your love life. Okay, um, in your recent past, um, you could have you could be ending a connection or, or you could have ended one recently. Similar to the Libra reading, I was wondering why the channel messages were so similar. If that resonates with you, I would recommend for you to go ahead and check out that reading for, for yourself. Okay. Um, also in the recent past, if that family just doesn't resonate with you, or if you didn't end a connection recently, um, you could have just not been emotionally fulfilled in the recent past. Okay. And that's something that you want to shift out of, um, or you are being shipped out of it from the universe. Okay. Even if that's something that you hadn't been calling in or manifesting, the universe is shifting you out of that. Okay. With that tower card. It's a very beautiful transformation, okay? It's happening very unexpectedly, I'm hearing. Unexpectedly, is that how you say that? <laughs> That's the word that came to my mind, okay? Um, for your emotional blockage, the empress, okay. So that's that family message I was getting. Um, you could be pregnant by this person or the person that you're with could be pregnant, depending on if you're a man or a woman. Okay. Uh you could be feeling tied or connected to that person because you do have a family or you have children with that person, okay? You have to determine if it's time for you to end something, okay? Um, you have to follow your intuition and follow your guides. It's not up for me to say if that's something you should do or not, okay? Um, if that doesn't resonate with you, Cancer, um, there could be emotional blockage um, in your sacral chakra, okay? Um, and I say that because sacral usually focuses on creativity and sexuality, and the empress has that aura about it, okay? Um, so there's something that you need to birth. I don't know if that's a transformation or a rebirth of yourself, maybe Scorpio energy. So maybe you have a Scorpio moon, or you could be dealing with the Scorpio, okay? But there's something that you need to rebirth or birth into this world, okay? Um, it could be a child. It could be an idea. It could be a business idea. For some reason, I'm feeling strongly it's a business idea for you guys, okay? And that's going to help transform your life and call in that love or that, or that romantic partner that you've been looking for, okay? Let's see what the person's energy is, Cancer. Interesting. This is fascinating. Okay, so... 
you could have Libra in your chart, okay? <laughs> or you could be dealing with Libra because I kid you not, I shuffled, like I shuffled three times. I split the deck, everything. This exact same card came out in the recent past for Libra's person, okay? The exact same card. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, and in their current energy is the chariot, which is you in the major arcana, okay? So they're heavily focused on you right now. You could be dealing with a cancer, but if you're not, you are definitely on their mind, cancer, okay? Um, I'm hearing running through their mind, okay? Um, they're very focused on you, okay? So this could be your current connection. If you're questioning this, if the person is really invested in you right now, they are. Um, I'm hearing that you are their everything, okay? And with the Queen of Pentacles coming out, that's why I kept on feeling the urge to say invest. With the Queen, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot coming out, it's showing me intuitively that they are highly invested in you, okay? They want to give you that equal give and take of the Six of Pentacles, Cancer, okay? With their emotional blockage, the Two of Pentacles, okay? So they're juggling something right now, okay? There's a lot of pinnacle energy, okay? So you could be dealing with the earth sign. So that would be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay? Which we talked about the Taurus uh, energy at the beginning of the reading. So intuitively, you could be dealing with the Taurus, I'm hearing, okay? They're juggling. Um, it could be a person, but I honestly intuitively don't pick up on that cancer. And you're very intuitive. So I feel like if they were juggling somebody, you would already know that. OK, um, I feel like it's something to do with their finances. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm getting the energy of finances for some reason strongly in my love readings. OK, um, and these are just supposed to be about love, romantic love. OK, but take it how it resonates. OK. Um, I feel like that there's something with their uh, finances, okay? Um, they could be going back to school. They could be trying to invest in something. Um, but they feel very drawn to you, okay? So they want to find out how to balance both because they don't want to focus less on either aspect of their life right now because they feel like that both are very valuable, which is very powerful. That's a very powerful statement. Let's see what your mutual energy is. The sun. It can't get no better than that, Cancer. Let's see what the potential outcome is. Seven of Pentacles. Come on now. We got a lot of Pentacles on the table right now, okay? Um, a lot of Pentacles. You heavily in your emotions right now, okay? Which is very natural of a Cancer. But just be, uh, just stay balanced, okay? Um, you have some different elements in your chart that you can stay in to stay balanced right now, okay? Because you're going through a lot of transformation right now okay and sometimes when we go through a lot of transformation uh cancer we can tend to get off balance or tense i'm hearing the phrase and excuse my language you like cursing to lose our shit okay so i don't know for some reason i had to come back to it but i've seen all the energy and i feel like that you're losing your shit or the cards are telling you to ground yourself and find that balance so you don't lose your shit okay because something very beautiful and very abundant is coming into your life with this sun card is mutual energy for both of you guys okay beautiful 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 energy okay um you could have leo in your chart or be dealing with the leo okay major arcana we have one two three four okay and, and i haven't even flipped over the advice cards for you yet okay and you came out in your own own reading okay so this is a general reading cancer so if the left side resonates more if the right side resonates more if you want to take bits and pieces and apply it to your life do that okay but it's a beautiful reading okay um with your potential outcome we have the seven of pentacles okay so planting seeds of hope um planting things and watching them grow okay it's a process though cancer okay this is going to take some time um it's not going to happen overnight especially with the queen of pentacles coming out um, it, it could be very sudden, suddenly for you, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm hearing that it's something that has been in the process or been in the works for a long time. Okay. And there's a heavy emphasis on business. I don't know if this is you or the person or a combination of both, or maybe you guys are going to come together and have a very prosperous and beautiful business together. I'm hearing. Okay. 
but it's a lot of growth okay there's a need for you to be patient though cancer okay to not lose your shit okay because that's that's what i'm feeling and that's the energy that i'm getting from it okay because this person seems very grounded okay very very grounded okay so let's not uproot that energy okay um let's go ahead and see what the advice is for both of you guys i've been feeling called to pull one car for you and one car for the person when it comes to advice for some reason interesting wands energy okay so definitely will be moving forward and taking the initiative in the future um in this situation i'm hearing okay um for your advice mm, hold on let me grab the car cancer Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm back, y'all, okay? <laughs> um, we have three of wands, okay? For their advice, we have seven of wands, okay? So, Cancer, it looked like, and this is either or, like I said, take it how it resonates. Um, you guys could both be waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Um, you guys are staying the course. You guys could have met each other. You could not have met each other yet, okay? Only you'll know that seven of wands um grounding energy like i mentioned earlier that chakra energy okay there's a strong need for you guys to both balance yourself okay especially you cancer because this is your reading okay also um be careful to not be guarded i don't know if that's coming from you or from the other person okay um but just be mindful of that okay this is a new chapter uh the wheel of fortune is turning in your in your favor okay so you you should have high standards because we talked about that in the channel messages but also keep yourself grounded and allow yourself to follow your intuition in your heart and i feel like if there's anybody that understands that that's a cancer okay so i feel like you will do just that cancer um for your other advice cards you have freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness beautiful and you do and i'm on i feel called to read that one more time freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness and so it shall be um for your positive affirmation it has i am releasing my property mindset okay i feel like that ties very heavily to that freedom card okay i'm gonna read it two more times okay just for uh to speak it into existence I'm releasing my property mindset. I'm releasing my property mindset. Okay, so you can have whatever you desire right now, Cancer. Okay, it's in the cards for you. Literally, we have the sun, the sun card on the table, and anytime the sun card comes out, that's an yes to anything and everything right now for you. Okay, so it's all about you changing your mindset. If you don't feel like that you are there and in that energy of the sun right now, in that pinnacle energy, the queen of pinnacles, the cherry, if you're not in your power right now, say that affirmation however many times you need to say it, Cancer, okay? And that will help you call in and draw in that energy to help you release that poverty mindset and to be in an abundant mindset instead, okay? Um, that is all I have for you today, my loves. Um, keep thriving, keep pushing, stay motivated. Stay open to love, okay? And always know that you are deserving of love, whether you are with a partner or without a partner, okay? If this message resonated with you, if you just simply enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to read everyone's comments, okay? Also, I would truly appreciate if you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time, bye-bye.